Hello, this is Northwest Trains, and uh, this is my first unboxing video of 2022. And it's this very nice uh, Pride of Britain Class 66 train pack, uh, Captain Tom Moore. Uh, it's the special collector's edition, so this is just for Backman Club members. And um, you might remember when I'd done my Christmas uh, haul video, uh, this was meant to be a Christmas present, but it didn't arrive till after Christmas. Uh, a uh, long uh, fiasco, uh, apparently it got, uh, or the van that it was in got stolen, the delivery van. Uh, then obviously Backman was closed over New Year and stuff, so. But yeah, it's finally arrived, so this is a present off uh, my partner and, and my family. Uh, so yeah, I previously had the Hornby version of this. Um, again, a really... I bought it just for the, the cause really because um I wouldn't normally buy a, a Hornby sixty six because it's just the gleam and mold basically, it's got no um lighting or anything to it. But um it was a decent enough model, it ran okay and uh and uh, it was fine, but I wanted something uh, a bit more up to date with with the rest of my uh, locos. So yeah, um I've got this, the Hornby ones, uh, found a new home now. Uh, so uh, let's get it open. Uh, you can also see the uh, the Hornby video. I'll leave uh, a link in the end of this video so you can see what that was like. I was going to do a video of the two together, but uh, this one didn't arrive in time before the other one left. Right, so just take this sleeve off. So it's all towards the NHS. So um, the loco was named for the NHS I think and then it obviously changed to Captain Tom Moore when he raised all that money I think it was something like 30 million pound or something uh, so yeah it was amazing what he achieved and uh, here we are also we've got a lovely loco and also uh, we've got this uh, nice Spitfire and Hurricane model let's just start with them actually just uh, so they metal I think no the plastic that's a surprise. Plastic model of a Hurricane, so it's like a much better version of a uh, Airfix kit, I suppose, in terms of, well, it's better than I could make anyway. Uh, the propeller actually moves. Yeah, I was, I was half expecting these to be die cast. I'm not bothered, but um, yeah, the plastic. You can see the pilot inside. And just uh, have a look underneath. Now I've got a Hawking Airfix kit to build, so it's not a bad little um, model to uh, copy off really, is it? So yeah, that's uh, one of them. Uh, I have also got a Spitfire that I've already built that needs painting. So it's quite a nice colour actually, it's like a deserty sort of camouflage colour. I have no idea if it is or not, it's just uh, what first came to my head. Um, it's got like a very light blue underneath. Yeah, so I do intend on doing some sort of military base when I extend the layout. Uh, so I've got loads of World War II era uh, airfix kits and model kits and soldiers and so on. So it would be nice to do something like that in the future. But yeah, I'll have to uh, see where I can display them. Just put that back. Right, so the main feature... It's old fashioned packaging, isn't it? The old polystyrene uh, box. It comes out easily enough. It's well protected, I suppose. 
now uh, this pretty weighty model as well you can see the uh, the detail on there I was going to get the Hattons one but um, I did actually wait to see what other people made of them and uh, it was a bit hit and miss a lot of them had problems with them um, they look like super, super looking models but uh, I never bothered at the uh, in the end so I've got two of these now I've got an EWS livery 66 so well there we have it so it's uh, 66731 and uh, I think it's, it's a pretty good model you can, I think you can just make out the decoder in there through the vents it's not very noticeable really so uh, I've got to put the couplers on it We've got a driver in there you can just about make out it's very very basically painted and uh, got the traditional looking couplers there as well in the front. Uh, not much more uh, I can say about the diesel I mean, it is weighty. Uh, I like the blackened out wheels as well. It's certainly a lot more uh, detailed than the Hormy model. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll get this out on the track now, and uh, and we'll give it a run. Well, let me just have a little check underneath here, actually. Uh, I was just thinking, we just take the plane out again. So yeah, I was just thinking, where's the couplers for it, but they're actually under here. So there's the stands for the planes. And uh, here we are, we've got S name plate for the loco, Captain Tom Moore. And there's our blanking plate, couplers. So yeah, that's a, uh, it's not a resealable bag, unfortunately, but... Never mind. So yeah, I'm going to put some couplers on this loco now and uh, get it on the layout. Okay, just thought worth mentioning. There's the uh, certificate as well that comes with the loco. And um, just uh, pause it if you want to read it. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to frame it or just leave it in the box. I'll probably just end up leaving it in the box, but it's there anyway. Uh, and we've just got our usual maintenance instructions. And... Uh, how to fit the uh, detailing and we've also got a switch underneath I suppose that's more for your, you have the loco and analog for your tail lights on and off uh, okay so I suppose uh, all you need at the moment is the um, list of functions so just before I put the loco on the track if you want to have a little pause and have a little look at that so that's what we've got but uh, I'll go through some of the sounds now and uh, we'll get it running. Right, uh, we've got uh, Captain Tom on the track and uh, Let's uh, see how she gets on. So uh, let's start her up now. Okay, let's uh, try the lights. So that's reverse, change our direction. There we go. I think that actually sounds better than my uh, my other Bachman loco, but I, mean, I suppose that is five years old. Right, uh, so we've got brake number two. So we can't hear that yet, so it's not moving off yet. So uh, number three is a single horn. Four, we've got a two-tone horn, and five. Oh, sorry. So we've got drive hold, and it's number six is coasting. Uh, so we've got coupling and uncoupling. Let's just try seven and seven again. So we've got. Uh, Squeal again, that's number nine, we'll see that when the, the loco moves off. Um, guard whistle, number 12. 
and uh, so we got number 13 cab light Let's see what that's like I'm just about to see that I think okay so we got 15 driver's door open or shut right so um what i want to do now is uh run it on the layout uh give it half an hour in each direction and then uh we'll uh do some uh, running shots of it see what it's like so um we'll just see it move off slowly now just to see what it's like straight out the box that's speed step two now That's very smooth that, I mean I would let it off if it was struggling a little bit because I've just ballasted all this track and uh, literally nothing's ran on this track yet, I've just given it a quick clean so um, see how it does, but that, that's smooth as anything that now so let's uh, go up to number 3 speed and then up to number 4 We're just hitting our first point now, see what that's like. That's done great that. I'm just going to turn the sound off for now. Right, so yeah, I'm going to run the uh, loco around with no wagons. For half an hour either way and then uh, let's see how it does and uh, we'll have it pulling some uh, wagons so we're uh, back in a sec okay we've uh, done about 15 laps now either way on this loco um, so it should be uh, well run in now I've, I've just got it coupled up now to these Dapple uh, GB Rail Freight wagons so uh, I think that'll make a nice train and um, We'll also see the EWS 66, the older model, running up and down as well. So uh, let's just get it started up now and uh, I'll do a few uh, running shots of it.
as you can see uh, it works uh, really smoothly I've uh, put a new set of wagons on it to uh, test its pulling capacity so these are the uh, mega fred container wagons and uh, they're like a die cast so they're pretty heavy and the 66 pulls from a these. same with these EWS wagons they're really heavy as well and the uh, the other one's pulling nine of them fine so I uh, just thought I'd show a quick clip with no sound on how they're working just turn over here so yeah uh, very good models like I say I was tempted by the Hattons one and the uh, the Hornby one although it did work fine it's uh, just a bit too basic for me so um, we'll bring it in now and uh, finish off the video Right, that concludes the uh, unboxing of this uh, lovely little gift set. Uh, very happy with it. And uh, a nice addition to the fleet. Uh, I might also add that uh, I really realised the other day I'd only, uh, that I haven't bought a Hornby Loco for over a year now. So uh, we'll have to see if any uh, catches my eye this year. Um, there was a couple that I liked last year but uh, they hadn't arrived yet. Um, but yeah there's another loco coming soon so uh, keep an eye out for that and uh, it's not a Hornby and uh, it's not a Backman so a uh, small clue so um, thanks again for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed the video please like subscribe uh, check out the Facebook page and uh, I'll see you on the next video bye for now